Okay, well, back. Uh, happy hump day. We've got uh, beautiful Metcon to start things off, and then we're going to actually flip-flop and do a little bit of strength work after. Um, I switched up the workout just a little bit. It seemed to make a little bit more sense in my head. Uh, it seemed a little more appropriate after Monday's squats, and then that super fun, intense Metcon. I know my legs are feeling pretty trashed. Um, and I don't want to overdo the squats, especially since we have some lunge work to do here. So I figured it'd be a little more appropriate to make these cleans and then um, to make this more similar to the last few weeks workouts where we bought in with a movement. I think it was a cyclical motion a couple times. Um, and then we had some rep counts to work through AMRAPs. Uh, so I wanted it to be similar to that. So this seems like a little bit better setup. So um, it is for total reps. There's three rounds of five minutes on, one minute off. You can see the little intervals here, 0 to 5, 6 to 11. Um, 12 to 17 they're all going to buy in with a 400 meter run um, so we need to make sure uh, to have enough time to get through uh, rounds and reps and volume on these movements we need to pick a run distance that's going to be no more than two and a half minutes uh, we'd like to see a run since you are coming off a rest period or especially for this first run we want this some we want our run distance to be somewhere around 2 to 215 okay we can leak a little bit over that but just keep in mind that if that first run does take us closer to two and a half minutes, after all of the fatigue from these two movements here, you're only going to get a minute of rest. Um, this run is definitely going to be slower, and then this one's going to be even slower. So we need to pick an appropriate distance where we're, we're coming back in and we're not feeling completely smoked so that we still have at least two and a half minutes um, to get some good work done on these AMRAPs because they are going to be pretty challenging with the burpee motion, the jumping motion, and then obviously the cleans on the chest. Heart rate's going to be really high. Um, it's going to be very global fatigue. So uh, pick an appropriate run distance, okay, closer to two minutes if you're looking for a perfect stimulus time, time frame. Um, and then we're going to AMRAP with the remaining time, three burpee box jump overs and seven cleans. Okay, if you're super excited about the squat cleans, feel free to squat every single one of them. However, if we want to maintain a little bit more intensity, um, get a little bit more a heart rate out of this, um, a little bit more rounds and reps volume, then power cleans are going to be the way to go. It's going to keep you moving a lot faster, um, especially mixed with the very box jump over. You're not going to have as much uh, leg fatigue, heart rate fatigue, and all of that. So uh, pick an appropriate clean weight. I think from the get-go, honestly, these should be singles. Uh, if it was me, um, I'm going to be doing singles the entire time. I don't think hanging on for seven cleans here is going to benefit you in any way. It's just going to blow you up. These are going to get very slow and grindy, even though it's only three. If you take an extra two, maybe three seconds per rep, you're losing close to 10 seconds um, per round over the course of, you know, three, four, five rounds. You've lost 30, 40, 50 seconds so that you could be doing more work. So um, singles are really only going to slow you down maybe a half a second or one second, but it's, it's going to keep you moving longer um, and less fatiguing. So I would pick a weight that you can single out very, very fast, right? Clean it, drop, rest clean it, drop, rest, really only need a couple sets. Um, we're going to do as many rounds and or as many reps as we can here. Rest a minute. The barbell weight is going to increase. Okay, These should definitely 100% be singles um, and something that you can hit probably one rep every five to six seconds. I think it's going to keep you moving through this. Um, the burpee box jump overs have gone up to five as well, so this is going to require a little bit more of uh, consistent movement on the burpees to make sure we have plenty of time to do these cleans. Okay, rest a minute. The fifth or the fourth interval, same thing buy in with the run. The burpees have gone up again. And then our final clean weight is only three reps. This is going to be the challenging part is choosing a uh, heavy weight. Needs a 100% should be singles and might even need to be squat cleans regardless. Um, I want you guys to challenge yourself a little bit on the weight today since we only have to do three at a time. And then you get a pretty hefty break. I know this is not necessarily a break, but we're getting off of the barbell. We're not squatting. We're not hanging on to the bar. So you should feel a little bit, quote, fresh when you get back to them. Um, but I know you're going to be very tired. So uh, we want to challenge yourself on a weight, right? We probably haven't done cleans in a, in a Metcon at these weights in a long time. So it's a really good opportunity to kind of um, challenge ourselves a little bit and pick, uh, pick a heavier weight than normal since we only have to do it three times uh, per set. But we're going to go total reps on this. <coughs> Excuse me, so we'll take right the total reps of this plus this plus this. So it's 10, rep, 10 reps per round. That'll be our score, okay? Um, as long as we're giving ourselves at least two and a half minutes to work through these rounds and reps, right? These three burpees are probably going to take you, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds. These seven cleans are going to be probably close to, you know, 30 to 45 seconds. So even if you call this 20, 20 seconds here and you call this 40, 40 seconds a minute 20, you have an opportunity to do uh, at least one round, uh, if not uh, two rounds 
um, in this split and then same thing on here so we're looking at two four six something like that um, would be super appropriate so just gonna get some heavy barbell, barbell volume in for fun and then um, accessory work at the end two kettlebell front rack step back lunge so you got two kettlebells in this front rack position you're going to step back for five reps on each leg if you want to make this a little more challenging you can step off of a 45 pound plate give yourself a little deficit and then you're going to just rock right into uh, the same weights that you had up here you know, right into a 50 foot uh, farmer carry lunge. So this is definitely gonna be a, probably a lighter weight for your farmer carry lunge. But after you fatigued your shoulders, your midline and your legs, going into 50 foot lunge is still gonna be very challenging. So it doesn't need to be super heavy here to get some uh, good volume here. Go two to, three, two to three sets of that, okay? So super fun uh, Metcon day playing with some heavy barbells. And of course, you know me, I love Burby Box Jump Over, so I had to put in a few. But fortunately, uh, you guys can thank me later. I only made them small little rep counts, so. Have a great Wednesday. See you in the gym. Bye.